Hi friends, <coughs> this is your Dr. B.P. Elias, Dr. Bapuji Kulipu. Today we are going to talk about analytic function <coughs> or regular function or a holomorphic function. Actually this is in complex variables, it deals with in complex variable. So when you go to complex variable means what I want to say z is equal to <coughs> x plus i v is a complex. In complex plane com point x is a real number y is a imaginary number you know <coughs> so point so in this x plus i way now the function how they define f of z f of z may you may have this z square plus 2 z plus 3 so in terms of so fully this is a complex function where z is equal to what x plus i way substituted z is equal to x plus i way what you will get f of z is equal to So if I expand what you will get x square minus y square i by whole square i square is minus 1 this minus v square 2ab so what you will get i this first I will do all real parts 2x plus 3 plus i into this real part what you will get 2 into ix 2ixy so 2xy here 2y So, f of z also I got actually in terms of function of x, y. This generally they will call actually u plus i v, where u is what function of x, y, where v is what function of x, y. This is what f of z they call actually w. So, complex function now they will define u plus e v where u and v are what functions of x and y see they i started with z slowly i am coming in terms of x and y where my u is what here real part of f of z v is what imaginary part of f of z or you can say w z is a point in complex plane then f of z is a function defined in terms of z slowly i will bring this u plus x y no, no, you see, I don't want x and y, you want z means what, what you will do? Here, suppose, in my hand z means what I am bringing, suppose if I have in this shape in terms of x, y, I want to go back z means what you will do? Put x is equal to z, y is equal to 0, what will happen, you see? In this equation, what we will do? Put x is equal to z, y is equal to 0, what you will get again? f of z is equal to x is equal to z means what? z square, y square becomes 0, 2 into z, then plus 3. Here you see, y is there, yes, so whole thing becomes vanish. So, you see, back to pavilion, I am reaching back. So, this is the way of doing. So, this is complex function. How they will define u plus iv. Now, actually, we are coming to the analytic function means what? A function defined it is z not means what? It is differentiable at neighborhood of. Everywhere differentiable at some points of neighborhood of z not. That is one differentiation of the analytic function or regular function holomorphic otherwise you may define like this f of z is to be analytic in complex reason r so f dash is exist in everywhere in r this where r is what complex reason you can say like this also actually if you go theory part means what lot of things are there i am not taking here theory part just i am concentrating only problems how to attack <coughs> problems that only we are dealing so we are not going actually what is the differential then partial differentiation continuous partial differentiation exist of the differentiation complex plane in partial differentiation what is the continuous of the partial actually what we deal in our life throughout partial differentiation continuous functions only continuous means what how you will prove ux y is equal to u y x any function you can take from this smaller stage 
So all functions in plus 2 level also what you will prove that prove that u x y is equal to u y x. So lot of things are there. <coughs> so now what I will go go for the doing problems. I am going directly problems. Now actually if I enter to the <coughs> complex. So analytic function. So define we studied just then proofs are there. Previously they will ask actually in world in universities are like Anna University and everything them repeated university they will ask prove that like something Kashi Sri Mani Kushi Saha there that I will tell. Now when is they are not asking. So a function f of z is said to be an analytic function means but f of z what I am telling u plus iv where u and v are what functions of x and y. So f of z is said to be an analytic means what it satisfies the CR equations. So, there is a necessary and sufficient conditions are there. This part we are not dealing just we are go for the problem only. So <coughs> clear or not z is equal to x plus iv means where I reach w is equal to u plus iv. Now <coughs> so f of z is said to be analytic means or the continuous and differentiable. Okay. Now so taken for f of z is where u plus iv is analytic. Suppose if f of z is analytic, then it satisfies what? CR equations, where CR means what? Cauchy Sriman equations. Cauchy Sriman equations spelling current Cauchy Sriman equations CR equations generally they will tell CR equations what are the CR equations they will give actually some function f of z they will give in your hand they ask to prove that the function is analytic or not so means what once if you are able to do CR equation satisfy means what your job is over. What is the CR equations? Now I will tell you see how to remember means what u and v are as a functions of x y f of z is telling there is prove that is analytic or not. A function is said to be f of z is said to be analytic means it satisfies CR equations. So what are the CR equations? How you will remember in alphabets what you will start x will start first y will start later. This is the order or not? Similarly, in u v who will come first? u this below will come first, v comes later. Now what you will do? CR equations means first you can do directly. So u x is equal to v y. Then reversely you can give u y is equal to minus v x. u y is equal to minus v x. So how you will remember? x and y then u v if you give directly u x u x means what dou u by dou x u v y is what dou v by dou y then u y is what dou u by dou y v x is what second you can give minus then u x is equal to v y reversely if you give means what <coughs> u y is equal to minus v x this is the way of doing then this is cr equations and cartesian coordinates we have a system polar coordinate system also polar coordinates is R and theta we deal with only R and theta that how you will have maybe my function f of z is equal to u of r comma theta i into v of r comma theta then in this case what are the CR equations same story <coughs> here how you will write how you will remember mm, yes R and theta you can write here u v u directly u r is equal to v theta reversely can give u theta is equal to v r then where is the r you can multiply with r <coughs> where is the r differentiation is there you can multiply with r this is the 
polar coordinates of the CR equations. So, R into UR, UR means what dou U by dou R, Vt term is what dou V by dou. Suppose my function is contained in terms of R and theta in polar coordinates. In complex number, now we will do this already or done in power plus 12 level. Z is equal to R e power i theta. R is the mod modulus, theta is the amplitude you done or not x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, r is equal to root of x square plus y square, theta is equal to tan plus y x. These are all you are done in plus 2 level. So, just after that we are doing this in this what we will do in complex differentiation and complex integration we do. In complex integration also just I will tell namesake integration, nowhere I will do integration. Just I will do some magic, I will get the answer. Some theorems I will know where we do integration. Just integration symbol only I will use. Nowhere I will use the integration. So you don't worry about this. So this up there clear or not. Again, once again I want to check CR equations in polar coordinates. Sometimes I may write wrong. Yes. So, how you will remember where is the R? If R where is there, you can give the link with the R differentiation. That is better. So, x and y, ux is equal to vy, uy is equal to minus vx. Reversely, if you give minus, here also same story. ur is equal to v theta, u theta is equal to minus vr, minus vr, sorry. ur is equal to u theta is equal to minus vr. Correct or not? So, then you can multiply with R. U theta is equal to minus VR. Okay. So, this is the basic things of the analytic function. The function is said to be analytic means what? It satisfies the CR equations. They will do f of z equal to something. They ask to prove that whether it is analytic or not. So, means what? In theory part, lot of things are there, actually partial derivatives are continuous, lot of things are there. That is, I am not dealing again, I am telling. Just my aim is what I want to do the problems. How to attack the questions? This is what problems in examination. That part all we are doing. In theory part, we do, don't worry. In later classes, that is separate classes we start. This lot of things are there in theory wise. So, time being we are doing only this part. Okay, thank you for watching our channel. Kindly subscribe and inform to all your friends and become part of our service. Once again, thanks. So, we do start all units completed before the examinations. I hope we are doing in time permits. I will do the all units. In all semesters, we do one by one. Once again, thanks. Bye.